Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be an empties video. I'm just going to show you some products I've used up recently, um, show you like what I would repurchase, what I wouldn't repurchase, um, you know, what I liked, what I didn't like out of all the products. So I'm going to film this one a little bit differently. I just wanted to come on and do this intro and say hello to you all. I had been away for a couple days. We actually took a little mini vacation to New Hampshire. Um, me and my sister wanted to surprise my dad for his birthday. His birthday was actually at the end of last month, um, but we just took him a couple days ago up to New Lincoln, New Hampshire. Um, for a few days, we rented a hotel, which was really nice. It was like three bedroom, which was awesome. So we could all stay in the same place and it had like the full kitchen and everything. So me and my sister cooked dinner one night and he, we stayed in Lincoln because he really likes zip lining and there's an awesome zip line in Lincoln, New Hampshire. We, we actually already did it once, but um, yeah, we just wanted to do it again. So the hotel location was perfect. It's five minutes down the road from the zip line. And then we just did a few other things up there. We took the chairlift to the top of Loon Mountain. Um, we drove the Kangamangas Highway. And yeah, it was um, a fun time. So I'm just getting back. So I just wanted to come on and say hello and do this intro. And now we're just gonna jump right into the empties. Um, like I said, I was going to film this a little bit differently. I wanted to just come on and do the intro and then I'm going to show the products up close so you can really see what they look like, the packaging and the things that I used up. So yeah, let's just jump right in. Okay, so I'm gonna start this empties video off with some makeup wipes. Um, I have a ton of them here. Um, this is probably my favorite one. Um, it's the brand, it's called Yes Two, And these are the Miracle Oil Common Soothe Primrose Oil um, Two-in-One Cleansing Moisturizing Facial Wipes. Um, these are awesome, they smell really great. They're pretty damp in the package, um, which is good. It helps get the makeup off. And um, I definitely have repurchased these a bunch. I actually ordered these online though, cause I'm not sure if you can find this particular kind <clears throat> in the store anymore. Um, but I mean, that's fine. I'll just order them offline if I have to. So yeah, these are probably my favorite one here and I have um, two of those. And then from the same brand, Yes2, um, this is the cucumber one. It's soothing hypoallergenic facial wipes. These are great too. Um, they're like for sensitive skin. This one I got the bonus. It was like 33% more. So you got 40 instead of 30. So that was a good deal. Um, I probably will get these again if I've seen them on sale. I do like these. Um, then I have some Alme ones right here. Um, these are ultra hydrating makeup remover cleansing towels with nourishing rice milk. Um, these were good. I don't know if I'd say they're super hydrating. I don't think they're any more damp than those ones, but they were good. I mean, I get coupons and stuff for Alme all the time, so I can get them for a pretty cheap price. So if I, you know, get the coupons again, I probably will get these again. Um, they weren't bad. And then I have two more right here of the nighttime soothing ones. Alme, it's the makeup remover cleansing towelettes with vanilla and chamomile to help calm and soothe your senses. These ones smell really good. Um, I really like these too. So yeah, I mean, all these makeup wipes are pretty good. I mean, to me, like makeup wipes are makeup wipes. I know some of them can be drier than the others, but everything right here is pretty good. I've used them all before, so I will probably repurchase, but uh, out of all of these, um, this is definitely my favorite one. Okay, so next up, um, I have a couple skincare products and like a hair care product. So I guess we'll just start over here. This is the Sabastani Shaper Mega Hold Hairspray. Um, maximum volume. I've had this one like forever. Me and my sister used to be like obsessed with this. Um, hairspray and there's probably like still a little bit left in here it just I think it went bad because I've had it for so long 
So I'm just going to get rid of this because me and Sarah, one of us, I forget, we went to use it the other day. Like either she sprayed it on my hair or she tried to spray her own hair and just came out in like a big straight line and it was like really gross. So anyway, I just think this has gone bad because I've had it for so long. So it's good, but um, yeah, I don't know if I'll repurchase. Like I don't even really use hairspray that much anymore. So anyway, that's that. Um, this is a mask by... Lush. It's called the Mask of Magnaminty um, Face and Body Mask. I like use this up there. This thing container is totally empty. Anyway, they have a thing where if you bring like a bunch of these empty, I think it's like five of them empty, they give you, they'll give you like a free mask. So yeah, this is totally, there's like nothing in that. I totally used that up. Um, this is a great mask. It's green and has like, I forget what's in it. It's some kind of like stuff or whatever that's like exfoliating or something in it but yeah it was a really good mask i like it i probably will repurchase um i just have so many masks right now i want to get through some of the other ones probably before i repurchase and then um right here is a body wash i have by corez um it's the japanese rose velvet sweet essence of rosebud um body wash so this was nice it came with this and the lotion um I liked it it was just like a two package thing or whatever and I think you got some kind of deal I don't know it was like 20 bucks or whatever so it was good um it's not as good as my regular body wash I use the Shea Moisture one all the time that's definitely my favorite but I mean I liked it it smelled nice but will I repurchase I don't know probably not anytime soon if I do if, if at all um, and then right here I have, this is actually a deodorant. This is by the brand Tarte. This is called um, Clean Queen Vegan Deodorant. Um, I can't use a regular antiperspirant. I, a couple of years ago, had a really um, problems that it was making me break out in like rashes and stuff under my armpits. So I have to use an all natural deodorant. Um, this is probably the best one I have found that lasts the longest. Um, just disclaimer, when you're using a natural deodorant, it is not going to work the same way as a regular deodorant. So you will like have to apply this throughout the day. I usually put it on in the morning and then maybe again around lunchtime, but I don't mind that. Um, to not have rashes and stuff under my arms, I will deal with just having to reapply. But I mean, you know, that's up to you if that's something or not you would want to do. But yeah, this is probably the best um, deodorant that I've found. The other one I was using, it's by Lavanella. You can get that at Sephora. And I think this one you can get at Sephora and Ulta. I'm not sure. I usually just order it online um, from one of those two. But yeah, so there's a couple of these products. So next up, I have a couple more hair care products. Um, this is the Joico Color Indoor Conditioner Sulfate Free for Long Lasting Color. Um, I liked this conditioner. It was good. Um, it's just, you know, a color care conditioner. It probably wasn't my favorite, but I mean, yeah, it was good. Whatever. It did the job. Um, will I repurchase? Probably not because I have so many shampoos and conditioners right now. And then I have right here um, the Redken Color Magnetics Sulfate Free Shampoo. Um, if you watched my last video, I think it is, it was all about my hair care. You probably saw this product and saw that it was definitely um, one of my favorite shampoos. I have repurchased this a ton. I've probably been using this product for at least two, if not three years now. Um, I will repurchase this. I actually already have repurchased this. I have the same size as this one in my shower and then I um, ended up getting the larger size. I think it's like the 30 something ounce actually the last time we were at Cosmoprof because it wasn't even that much more expensive and I'm like, you know what? I use this stuff all the time. I might as well just get the big one. So I did. Um, and then we have some dry shampoos over here. I have Batiste. This is the dry shampoo for dark and deep brown 
um, hair, a hint of color. This, when you spray it, it actually comes out dark, which is awesome because if you know what dry shampoo is, if you have dark hair, some of them come out with that white tint and then it makes you look like you have gray hair um, unless you really like blend it in good. So this is probably my favorite dry shampoo. Um, you, you probably saw that one in the last video with that too, if you saw that video. So yeah, this is my favorite dry shampoo. I definitely will repurchase. I have repurchased. Um, so that's that. This is the Pantene dry shampoo. Um, I actually tried this because I remember watching a video in Tati was like um, raving about this. So I was like, oh, I should try that out. And then I really liked it because it, do it doesn't have the hint of color, but this one actually comes out clear, which is nice instead of um, with the white cast. And it's not that heavy. Like this I will use when my hair, like when I haven't washed it for like three days, you know what I mean? It really gets the oil out. This I wouldn't say gets the oil out as good, but it still is like a good little refresher just for like day two hair or, you know, like the next day after you washed your hair. It does help get some of the oils out and it's like a lighter um, dry shampoo. So I do like this one. I think I got this in, I don't know, either Walmart or CVS and then I went to look for it again and it wasn't there. I think they discontinued it. So that kind of sucks. Um, I don't know where else I'm gonna get this, but whatever, maybe I'll just look online if I wanted to repurchase it. But um, yeah, so there's a couple hair care products. Okay, so um, next, um, there's a couple more like body skincare type products I'm gonna talk about um, of stuff that I've used up. So this is Mac Fix Plus. Um, you've probably seen this in a bunch of my videos. Um, this is great, you can use it for like everything. It has so many like multi uses, um, you could spray it if your makeup's looking too like heavy or cakey, just to bring that dew back and give you that more like natural finish. I love this for spraying all my brushes when I just really want to intensify like a metallic shadow. Um, yeah, this like I said just has so many uses. I love Mac Fix Plus. This is just the original. Um, I have actually I already have repurchased this in the full size, and I have a little mini which is great for travel. So. Yeah, that's definitely um, like a holy grail and I will repurchase and have repurchased. Um, this is like a shaving cream, EOS. Um, it, it's tropical fruit, 24 hours of deep moisture, natural shea butter, aloe, nourishes and softens skin. This is a great shaving cream. Um, I really like this one. The only thing I will say, the pump does make it kind of harder to get out. Like I almost feel like there might even be some product left in here, but you can't really get it out that well just because of the packaging. So I don't love the packaging of this, um, but I do love the product. And I think they actually just came out with this product but in like a tube um, which is much more convenient like a squeezy tube kind of like a hair gel type tube so I probably will get that um, I haven't repurchased this yet actually I've just been using um, it's the same brand Shea Moisture as this but they have like a um, coconut body wash and I've just been using that to shave lately so yeah I don't know it works I think like just as good but I'm probably gonna look into um this shaving cream in the squeezy tube um because I did like that just like I said the packaging isn't the greatest so then um Shea Moisture this is probably my favorite um body scrub it's the coconut and hibiscus hand and body scrub um gluten free with vitamin E firming and toning um, yeah, this is just a great body scrub. It smells great. There's like nothing left in any of these to even show you. I use my products like up like pretty much till there's like not a drop because hey, why not? You paid for it. So you might as well get your use out of it, especially if it's a product you like. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is a great scrub. Um, I have repurchased. I will repurchase. Um, I get this at Ulta, I think, and you, I just wait till I get like 20% off and then I'll probably pick that up again. Um, all right, this is again by that brand, Yes Too. This is what is this? Oh, this is a serum. Um, it's the blue, Yes Too Blueberries Age Refresh 
Intensive Skin Repair Serum. This is a great serum, actually. I really like this product. Um, I have repurchased this a couple of times, but I think they discontinued this like in a couple of the stores because I remember not being able to find it. And I think this last time I found it was like at Ulta, but it might've actually been on a sale. Um, so I don't know, I'm gonna have to look on their website and check it out because I really do like this product. It's a great serum. Um, yes Too is a great brand for sensitive skin. It doesn't have any like the bad um, harsh chemicals in there. It's paraben free, um, which is really nice. And yeah, I just like this product and I'm gonna definitely probably repurchase it um, in the future. So let's see, what is this? This is Tarte um, Maracuja C Brightener Eye Treatment. Um, so this is just an under eye brightening cream. Um, the packaging is really cute. It just has this like little like bamboo top. And then I was just trying to see if there's any product left in there to show you, but it's pretty empty. Um, but on the inside, it's just kind of like a white cream and it just has like a nice little tint. Um, it's not like a colored tint. It's almost like a shimmer tint that just helps really brighten the under eyes. But I really do like this eye cream. I have um, repurchased this a couple of times, so I probably will again. I just have a couple other um, eye creams to get through first. Um, but yeah, so I think I might have one or two skincare things left and then probably all the rest is makeup. Okay, so this is the rest um, of the skincare products. So right here I have Origins, it's um, Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. This is my favorite face wash. Um, this one, yeah, is definitely pretty beat up and used up, but um, yeah, I've repurchased this a bunch of times. I will repurchase. I already have one of these that I'm using right now. I might even have a backup um, because like I said, this is my favorite face wash. Um, yeah, it's just a great face wash and I use it on my Clairsonic. Um, and then here's another little Origins thing. What is this? Make a difference. This was just like a hand cream. Um, so yeah, this was a nice hand cream. I think I got it in a set of like little mini products. Um, I don't know if I will like specifically repurchase the full size of this. I don't think I loved it that much, but I mean, I used it up. It was part of a kit and it was nice. I do like Origins. They're definitely one of my favorite skincare brands. Um, so let's see what else. This, what is this? Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm Natural Mint and Shea Butter, SPF 25. So I really liked this. Um, I liked it even more than I thought I would. I think I just got it as some kind of like, I don't know, sample or deluxe size sample thing at like Sephora or Ulta. I don't even really remember where, but I will look into this and I probably um, would repurchase this. I really did like this lip balm. It was um, a nice lip balm and it has the SPF and yeah, it was good. Um, this is Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion. Um, this is a serum, I think, right? Empower, replenish, renew, fortify, um, skin medic technology. Yeah, this was just like a serum. Um, yeah, it just says, after cleansing, apply two pumps over face and skin morning and night. Um, this was okay. I think, I don't know, I, like I said, I think I might have got this, again, like, as a deluxe sample for something. I mean, it was nice. It did whatever. I didn't notice a huge difference, but I probably, it's not something I'd go out and look for to repurchase the full size. Um, these are all kind of just, like, mini sample things or whatever, um, that I tried out, but yeah, it was okay. And then this isn't really skincare, but I don't know, I just had it in here. It's just a beauty, um, sponge. It's the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. This one got, like, all gross and beat up, so I just figured I'd throw this in here to show that I used this up, and I have already purchased a new one and have a few more. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for skincare. Now I'll just show you the rest of the makeup products that I have. Okay, so last up, um, it's just some makeup products. That I have empties here. I guess I'll just start right here. This is um, Revlon Precision Clear Lash Adhesive. This is lash glue. This is my favorite lash glue. This one is like disgusting because it gets all clumpy and gross up there. 
Um, I have two of these right here. Um, yeah, this is just my favorite lash glue. Um, I've used up a ton of these. I have a ton of these on backup. So I definitely will and have repurchased. Um, they just, you know, lash glue doesn't last forever. You, they get all gross and clumpy and stuff. And then you can only use them for so long until you got to open a new one. But yeah, these are good. My favorite lash glue definitely will repurchase. Um, speaking of another favorite, here's another two of these up here. This is my favorite, um, eyebrow gel. This is the Ulta Beauty Brow Tint in the shade Medium. Um, I've been using actually the one in Auburn too lately that I've really been liking, but this is two of these. Um, this is my favorite, um, eyebrow gel. So yeah, that's two more and I will per repurchase and have repurchased those. Um, here's some mascara. This is the Benefit Roller Lash. Um, this was good. I really did like this. I think I got this in like a holiday kit. It came with um, like a little mini Hua bronzer and the Professional. Um, so the kit was like re really good deal. I think it was like 39 or something. But I'm pretty sure this, if you purchase separately, it's like over $20. So I don't know if I would repurchase this mascara um, for 20 something dollars for itself like maybe if I found it in another kit again or something um I would get it and then here's another mascara this is one um that you can get at like the drugstore or Walmart or wherever um this is voluminous L'Oreal voluminous lash paradise it doesn't even say oh there it is L'Oreal yeah I know it's L'Oreal I was like where does it even say but um yeah, I just, whatever, knew this one was L'Oreal. But yeah, this is a great mascara. I love this one. This is actually similar to the um, Better Than Sex mascara. Um, but yeah, this I think is like just as good. And this is only like 10 bucks, 12 bucks or something. So yeah, I definitely will repurchase this one again. Um, it was affordable and it was a really great mascara. It was like, um, gave your lashes a lot of volume and length. And yeah, and this one, I, I didn't mention, but this one is more like lengthening. Um, so yeah, just depending on what, like, style you go for. Um, so up here, I have an e.l.f. high definition powder. This thing is, like, freaking beat up, but let me just open it and show you guys if I can get the cover off. Um, it was just, like, a high definition white powder, um, translucent powder, but yeah, it was really good. I mean, I think this was, like, three, four bucks. I don't know, it's e.l.f., so it's like wicked affordable, but um, it was good. I think someone might have even given this to me. I don't even know if I like purchased this on my own, but I mean, I have so many powders right now. It's not something I'm gonna like run out to go repurchase, but I I would repurchase this. It was good. Um, here's like another powder. This is the It Cosmetics um, Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. This one, I think this was a translucent one too. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, so this was a translucent one too. It was just like a regular white powder, but yeah, the pan actually broke. That's why there's um, nothing in there right now. But yeah, I really like this one. It did kind of make um, you look like you didn't have any pores. It was really ni nice, natural um like beautiful smooth finish so I liked this but this was expensive I think it was like 30 something so I mean I might repurchase but I don't know not like right now or anytime soon um and then right here I have the physician's formula butter bronzer this one I think was just in the sh regular shade bronzer yeah just bronzer um, so this was nice. This is a great bronzer. I really love this bronzer. There is still a little bit left in there, but it was just starting to get gross and like hard pan. So I just figured, um, I'd get rid of this. Um, I probably will repurchase that. And I know since I got this one, which was a while ago, they came out with like some new shades because this one isn't that deep. Um, it's called bronzer, but I remember like, it's not even that dark like especially in the summer like I had to like couldn't even almost wear that or had to like really really build it up to get the color to show but um yeah I think that is it for this empties video um I hope you guys enjoyed maybe you saw some of your favorites or something you would be interested in purchasing um thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one